Stephen, thanks. New at six tonight, drug addiction is a big problem nationwide, and especially here in Arkansas. With the rise of drugs being laced with fentanyl, we're seeing an increase in overdose deaths. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker spoke with state leaders working to combat this problem. State officials say there were 618 overdose deaths in 2021, and about 65% of those were from illicit fentanyl either by itself or in combination with other drugs. Kirk Lane is a director of the Arkansas Opioid Recovery Partnership, which is a partnership between the Arkansas Municipal League and the Arkansas Association of Counties. They are looking at programs to help combat the issue using money awarded to the state from opioid lawsuits. He says fentanyl has been a growing problem in our state since early 2016. In 2019, we saw a flood of illicit fentanyl come into the state. At the same time, we were dealing with COVID-19, which caused our overdose deaths to increase uh, dramatically, some 43% in that first year. Fentanyl is a synthetic drug that's often mixed with other drugs because it's cheap to manufacture. A very small amount can be fatal. According to Lane, one gram of pure fentanyl can kill up to 500 people. It's about the same shape and size of what you'd find in a single sweet and low package. Any drug use today could be your last because fentanyl is mixed into everything. And so uh, realizing that and, and applying that to uh, critical decision making that somebody may be using um, is, is very important to understand that the drugs today are not what they were years ago. Lane says the state has resources like the Narcansaw app to help people find out where to get Narcan and learn how to use Narcan if someone were overdosing. Arkansas also has a growing recovery program. Jimmy McGill is a director of the Peer Recovery Services at DHS. He himself was a drug addict who has been in recovery for more than seven years. He says it's hard for him to find words to describe the importance of peer recovery. The people that were once stigmatized and considered unreachable and unteachable now have a platform. They now have a pathway. They now have a purpose. And, and it's a beautiful thing because Arkansas has grabbed that torch and we, we're leading the nation in, in, in that peer recovery movement. Covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. DHS has three recovery community organizations in the state that are fully staffed to help anyone facing addiction. The one in our area is in Bentonville.